Oh, what a race this is. Uh, this is possibly one of the highlights of the jump season. Um, it's an absolute cracker. Um, I Between Al Boom Photo and Ken Boy, I would marginally prefer Ken Boy. Um, I think he, a track like Punch at Ken, where there's a little bit more emphasis on speed, I think he's a faster horse than Al Boom Photo. Uh, one of the things that surprised me a little when I look back at the Gold Cup was, when I watched it at the time, I thought Al Boom Photo jumped brilliantly and never missed a beat. But he... Looking back at the replay a couple of days ago, he actually didn't jump as well as I thought he did. Um, it was a really, really good performance, beating Annabelle Fly in Bristol de Mai. But using Bristol de Mai as a gauge, you know, Kemba beat him by much further at Aintree, and I thought he looked spectacular at Aintree. But saying that from a value grounds point of view, surely the bet has to be Bell Hill each way here. I would completely forget his Cheltenham run. I, to me, it looked like he was still feeling the effects of his run in the Irish Gold Cup. If you remember that day. At Leperstown, all the horses that were taken out, it was officially good ground, but it was quicker than that. And I think he was still feeling the effects of landing over his fences on that hard ground. And he just wasn't him letting himself down. As he was jumping the fences, I didn't think he was coming away from them as quick as Bells Hill can in the first three or four fences. And then he made a desperate mistake. I think if he gets into a rhythm here early here today, he has had a terrific record at Punchestown. He's a different horse away from Cheltenham. The ground here should be perfect. He won the race last year, and at 6-1 to one each way, I find it very hard to see him finishing out of the first three.